Hi, this is Dean's tutorial on Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition and in this tutorial I will show you how to create arrays and how to use them but also I will show you how to create a constant and explain it a bit. So I will create one button uh, for the purpose of the program and two uh, labels to display some um, text. I'll just name my button something like a go and labels will be empty so let me start with the code first of all what i need to do is declare my array and how to do it and it's dim and for example number and in the brackets <coughs> sorry in the brackets i state what range the array will have so um for example from 0 because this is the lowest range to uh, 4 let's say as integer uh, what does it mean <coughs> sorry the number the variable which is called number will have range of 5 uh, integers inside so I will have actually 5 <coughs> variables inside 1 something like this this is array <coughs> and I will have answer also in the same way uh, 0 to 4 which is 5 as string so that's how you declare the, uh, the array uh, it looks like a variable but with the one difference of the brackets and the range of the variable um, and <coughs> how to declare um, how to declare those ranges how to declare the variables I just click on the form uh, I will not rubbish my code in the button I will just click on the form load and say number and open bracket 0 so this is my first variable <coughs> this is my first variable is equal to 1 let's say so this is my first variable in range of array then I will have my second variable it's 1 and it's equal for example 2 then third is equal three, and so on till I reach to four. And, and number three is equal to four, and number is equal to five. So that's my range um, of the variables. Each one of them will be separate variable. Uh, in the group of array, uh, in the group of numbers, so it's a group of uh, array is a group of of variables held together. So now for the answer, same thing applies here. So is equal. Let's say because it's a string, I will say um, down. Let's say answer one is equal down let's say again <coughs> answer and two is equal let's change it now to let's say null <coughs> doesn't matter uh, answer three <coughs> is equal to up and answer four is equal to up as well so I have declared my uh, <coughs> arrays here and also assigned for the each array I assigned a number or a, a string and if I want to use it I need to um, I will show you actually I will have a variable first of all to hold some kind of data for the input and um, let's say dialog dialog uh, as let's say um, byte it's enough so dialog is equal to input box and uh, input yeah input box and um, say please enter number from one to five so um i will have a uh, number one to five 
And now I can use if statement or case statement. It's up to you. For this exercise, I will use if statement. And saying that if dialog is equal to, uh, let's say, 1, then I will print out the number and the answer. So um, label 1, that text is equal to number. And now what I need to do is state which array I want to use. So for example, number zero array. And each time I want to use other one, I just change the number inside. So it's like having five variables inside one. And label two, same thing, uh, is equal to answer and zero. So that's how you create the verb. Uh, that's how you create the array, and also how you use it. So else if dialog is equal to two, then and let me just copy this, paste, <coughs> and this will be changed to one. I'll we'll copy link and paste it three more times. This will be changed to three. This will be four. And this will be, come on, five. <coughs> and this one will be changed to two, this one to three, and this one to four. I will also add the <coughs> validation rule, which will say if if um, if the number and uh, the user have input is out of range, then the message box will be displayed. So please uh, enter a number between between one and five only so let me just run this code okay so I have go button I press it I have my input box let's say I'll input four press OK I have a four and up which is up as well because it's third. So that's how the array works. And this is one of the uses. Uh, we can use many other things. Uh, also, I will show you validation. So if it's out of range, message box will be displayed. One, for example. So that's how it works. <coughs> this is the arrays. And that's how you declare them. So each array, each range of the number will have its own value or of string or something like this. And to assign it to, for example, label, uh, we, are, we just use number and number of array we want to use. So it's very simple and very useful. As I said uh, previously on the tutorial, uh, it, it, it can be used for the uh, calculator. So um, there's, there's lots of uses and we will use arrays more in the future. I will also show you constant and constant, I will explain it in a minute and it doesn't matter as integer. integer. So constant is a static variable. As you can see, if I press it like this, if I leave it like this, the game will say constant must have value. What does it mean? Because constant is a static a variable I will need to assign value straight ahead so I can't use it like a like normal variable so constant is a, um, a static va uh, variable and uh, dim use is dynamic so that's the difference between those two and um, it is this one is useful for example if you um, let's say have uh, calculations of some kind and uh, let's say some of the prices doesn't change and stuff like this so you just say in constant that this price is five and this price is four for example so it will be always four <coughs> it won't change i think that's it for this tutorial and um, more arrays as i said will be used in the future in the future programs and uh, also constant probably will be used also in the future programs uh, when the calculation comes um, visit my web page and YouTube channel for more tutorials also if you like it subscribe and uh, I will see you next tutorial then bye